Well, I, I think the art of dance, it's, some people think of it as a hobby. Um, I think of it as a way of life. It, it, it's a gift. It's, my signature style is, is, um, is with my hands, you know, if you will. You know, the little, the, it's the little touches that, that, make, that make the dance mine. I mean, this, you know, this is something you can't learn. The sprinkler, you know, uh, the forklift, you know, is a good one. You know, moving that back and forth, a little horn action, you know. The locksmith is a good one. There's always people coming up and, oh, I can dance better than you. And, you know, you got to kind of show them that, you know, who's boss, really put them in their place. Great grandmother. Yeah, she, uh, she was the one that kept the family together during the hard times. She, she would actually dance in the streets. Um, for, uh, for money and help support the family. So every now and then she'd let me go and, uh, and hold the cup and I'd run around, you know, kind of like a organ grinder and his monkey. I, I'm not a big cabbage guy, so they, 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 I don't have lunch with the, with the carnival, carnival workers anymore. The full body shake, you know, like a little, a little bit of this, you know. But people will jump on me, you know, and call for paramedics and you know, try to give me, you know, VCR or anything like that. You have to get inspiration for, you know, if you, if you want to stay cutting edge and new. Like I said, you can get inspiration from a whole bunch of places. Um, except for maybe meatloaf. I don't really see much inspiration in meatloaf. No. I don't like the onions either, so no, not meatloaf.